nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars make me dream. Good day everyone, welcome to group 3 smart class. Today, we're gonna talk about Pythagorean Theorem. Learning Objectives Know the Pythagorean Theorem. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to find side length of a right triangle. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to find areas of a right triangle. What is Pythagorean Theorem? Pythagorean Theorem, the well-known geometric theorem that the sum of the squares on the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square on the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right triangle, or in familiar algebraic notation, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, or c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. In mathematics, the Pythagorean Theorem or Pythagoras theorem is a fundamental relation in Euclidean geometry between the three sides of the right triangle. It states the area of the square whose side in the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the square on the other side. Right triangle. Right triangle in which two sides are perpendicular. The relation between the sides and other angles of the right triangle is the basis for trigonometry. Parts of right triangle. C is the hypotenuse or the longer leg and A is the adjacent and B is the opposite side or shorter legs. An oblique triangle is a triangle that is not a right triangle. It could be an acute triangle. All three angles of the triangle are less than right angles. Or it could be an obtuse triangle. One of the three angles is greater than a right triangle. This is the example of Pythagorean theorem, example number one. If A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 5, find the value of the hypotenuse. Ito po ang gagamitin formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus C squared. C squared is equal to 5 squared plus 5 squared. Dahil ang value po ng A at B is 5, then C squared is equal to 25 plus 25. Dahil pinag-multiply lang po natin ang 5 sa kanyang sarili, kaya naging 25 plus 25. Then C squared is equal to 50 dahil pinag-plus po natin na 25 plus 25. Then, baba lang po natin. C squared is equal to 25 times 2. Dahil hanap po tayo ng number na may isang square at isang isap. At ang kakalabasan po ay 50 kapag pinag-times po yun. Then, C squared is equal to 5. Square root of 2 dahil lang square root po ng 5. 25 is 5. Then, 2. Lagi po natin tatandaan. Ang wala pang square root ay laging nasa loob. At ang, square root, at ang may square root po ay laging nasa labas. This is the example number 2. If C is equal to 25 and A is equal to 15, how long is B? Ito po ang gagamit nating formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Then, 25 squared is equal to 15 squared plus B squared. Dahil ang value po ng C is 25 and the value of A is 15. Then, 625 is equal to 225 plus B squared. Dahil, 25 times 25 is equal to 625. Then, 15 times 15 is equal to 225. Ililipat lang po natin sa yung 625 sa kabila po at yung 225 at yung B squared po sa kabila. Kaya po naging B squared is equal to 625 minus 225. Then, pag minusin lang po natin ang dalawang number at ibaba lang po natin ang B squared. B squared is equal to 400. Square root po natin both sides then B is equal to 20. Dahil lang, square root po ng 400 ay 20. Number 3. If C is equal to 3 times square root of 2, what is A and B? Solution. 
c square equals a square plus b square. c square equals a square plus a square. Kaya naging dalawa yung a square dahil a is equal to b. So, ipag-add lang natin yung dalawang a square, kaya magiging c square equals 2a square. Then, since c is equal to 3 times square root of 2, magiging 3 times square root of 2 square equals 2a square. 9 times square root of 4 equals 2a square. Kaya naging 9 times square root of 4 dahil 3 times 3 equals 9. And 2 times 2 equals 4. After nyan, kukunin lang natin yung square root ng 4 which is 2. Kaya naging 9.2 equals 2a square. So basically, 9.2 means 9 times 2. And 9 times 2 is equal to 18. Kaya naging 18. Then, i-divide natin sa 2 both sides para makancel yung 2 sa 2a square. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9. And 2a squared divided by 2 equals a squared. Kasi nakancel na natin yung 2. So, a squared na lang siya. So, after natin i-divide both sides sa 2, kukunin naman natin yung square root nilang dalawa. Alam naman natin lahat na ang square root ng 9 is 3, at ang square root ng a squared ay a. So, therefore, a and b is equal to 3.